From the Halloween costume contest to the Halloween carnival. We've, We've got, got the soup. soup. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Begin. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. My name is Maria Sanchez. And I'm Stephanie Robles. Today is October 30th. Ooh, Centurions, you know what that <laughs> means. We are just simply hours away from the coolest holiday of the year. Thursday ween. Uh, what? What, is the, what in the world is Thursday ween? Don't you mean Halloween? Um, no, I meant <coughs> Thursday ween. This year, Halloween follow falls on Thursday, which is so cool since we don't have school on Friday. So you can stay out, trick your training for as long as you want. Well, of course, as you're being safe. Oh, okay, well, I, I get you, I get you. Talking about Halloween, this week's spring week was composed of Monday being 20, yesterday was fall colors, tomorrow is dressing up in your costume, but today is is an honor, is to honor the great Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetle. Uh, whoa, whoa. Um, no, 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 don't say that. Especially three times, do you know what happens? Uh, what, what are you talking about? Saying Beetlejuice three names three times will either summon him or send him away. Wait, so if I summon him, I can send him away? So that, would that be wrong about that? What ex that thing exactly? <laughs> um, okay, no, no, no. That's not the point I was trying to point out to. Um... It would cause a great catastrophe, so like, don't do that. But why? Well, first of all, Beetlejuice is a great trickster as well as a mischievous <coughs> ghost. As, and second of all, most importantly, we're literally in the middle of a broadcast. Like, I know it's spooky season, but we wouldn't want to be haunted by a ghost. <laughs> all right, all right, right. Well, since we're already talking about Halloween or Thursday Halloween or whatever, the day you guys have been waiting for is finally here. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's the Halloween carnival. Today, later at 5 p.m., the carnival will begin and end at 7. So remember, Centurions, to bring your family and friends later today. There will be lots of food sold, games, and prizes, and overall just fun activities to do. So make sure to show up. There will be a costume contest, so make sure to wear your most creative and spookiest costume you may have, and you may just win. Uh, so, Steph, are you all about spooky season? Um, yeah, I love this season. It's one of my favorite ones. But why do you ask? Well, Centurions, if you're all about getting scared and facing your fears this season, why not do so on the blood drive? If you have a phobia on blood or needles, now is your time to face your fears. Or if you're all about just helping out because of the good of it, as I said, there will be a blood drive very, very, very soon. The blood drive is going to take place at Century on October 31st, being held and planned by Fatima Rodriguez. The only requirements is that you must be 16 years old, meet the height and weight requirements, and gener generally be in good health. So if you're, you're actually planning to attend, make sure to bring your student ID card and a permission slip. Talking about shots, do you know what just came up to my mind? One, two, three. Basketball <laughs> tryouts! Do you regret not, going, not trying out for the girls' basketball during the summer or want another shot at it? Do you guys want to be an amazing part of a team like us? Well, now you have the chance to prove yourself. Steph, could you remind our centurions about like the requirements? Well, of course I wouldn't mind. <laughs> the only requirements is that you have to be enrolled in sixth period athletics P class, or if you're not, you unfortunately can't try out. But don't worry, there's always tryouts next year. And two hardworking girls, <laughs> 
that who want to be part of the girls' basketball team trials will be held today and tomorrow during six periods. Moving on, attention centurions. The counseling office and the higher ed center will be closed today. But don't worry, they'll be back up and running again tomorrow. Hey, Steph, uh, do you know what today is? Uh, I don't know, October something. Well, yeah, but it's National Candy Corn Day. <laughs> yes, centurions. <laughs> You heard me right. It's candy corn day. It's one of those things where you either love it or hate it. Uh, you either candy corn, as some might describe it as waxy and sickly sweet, and others just can't seem to get enough of this seasonal treat, whether handed out in small packets at <laughs> home or served in keeping bowls up on grandma's table. Candy corn is an icon. <laughs> <laughs> of the season, and you know that autumn is here when it starts showing up. If you really want to get into the season, you can create candy corn cupcakes. Make the best. You can make the best using chocolate chip chocolate <laughs> cake mix with <laughs> top with a yellow orange buttercream frosting to resemble a candy corn. Um, and voila, there be a tree that can be beat. Um, Steph, do you know where your costume is already? Um, no. Well, if you want a cool and affordable costume, make sure to check out stores like Hot Topic, Spirit, Halloween, and or Hobby Lobby in case you want to make a DIY costume. Talking about DIY costume. Oh yeah, Steph, so when is the costume contest? I was literally about to talk about that. <laughs> well, Centurions, there will be held a costume contest the day of the blood drive as well as there will be prizes for those who win. The categories are best DIY costume, best duo costume, scariest costume, best group costume, and funniest costume. Oh wow, that sounds like it'll be so much fun and cool to see all the creativity. So if you have a friend, as in one friend, to go with, pick fun for the best duo costume. Or if you have plenty of friends, make sure to run for the best group costume. But if you're a bit lonely, <laughs> make sure to try out for the best DIY costume, scariest costume, or the funniest costume. But if you're super creative, you might even find a way to put all three categories together. Moving on, your boys football team has their very last home game of this season on Friday. They will be celebrating senior night that night and celebrating all the seniors on an amazing season. Yeah, there's no school that day, but doesn't stop you from going out and supporting. I'm sure they'll appreciate all the support we bring out on a very special night like that. Hey Maria, what's your favorite scary movie? Uh, Steph, you know I'm a baby for scary movies, right? I literally cannot watch scary movies, even if my life depended on it. I really just truly hate scary movies. Well, mine is Scream, or The Conjuring, or Insidious, or Orphan, or Halloween, or The Nightmare on M Street, or... Oh, okay, 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 we get it, Steph. You're not a baby like me. You can handle scary movies. But what's your point with all this? Well, as I said earlier in Centurions, it's official, guys. We do not have school on Friday, so you could stay up as long as you want and binge watch all the scary movies you like while eating your favorite Halloween candy from the night before. But I know that not everyone will have plans to go out trick-or-treating or going to haunted houses or whatever. I was just thinking that maybe you could just stay home and run a, fa a marathon of your favorite horror films to celebrate of the, the awesome Halloween. But remember, <laughs> but remember, Steph, not everyone can handle scary movies like you. So if you're going to be alone this Halloween <coughs> and don't like scary movies, instead you can play something merrier like Christmas movies, since that season is approaching us very soon. Hey, Maria, it's that time again. What time? What are you talking about? It's a time for the spooky <laughs> joke of the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right. Let me hear it. Why didn't the skeleton go to the Halloween dance? Uh, I don't know. Because he had no body to go with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> well, Centurions, the broadcast has come to an end. But remember, Centurions, to always stay swaggy. Bye. Bye.